Hey guys, it's Shara Knight Paladin and welcome to my Inktober 2017 first video of the series. So, originally the schedule for this was that it was supposed to cover day 1 to day 5, but it's turning out to be quite a long video, so I decided that I will just cut it into uh, every 3 days, so I'll be uploading one for day 3 to day Day 1 to day 3, three uh, 4 to 6, and etc. So, I am caught up in the sense that if you follow my Instagram or my Facebook page, I upload my artwork there daily or whenever I get them done, which is daily, which is the point. So, if you want to see it in real time, I guess, uh, you will see it there first. But for now, the videos will be... Um, kind of in a weird schedule. So this is a bit late since this is only until day 3, but the one for day 6 will be right on time, which will be on a Sunday? <laughs> no, that's day 5 is today. Oh, that's Friday. That's tomorrow. I guess I'll upload it to replace my Saturday video then. Yeah. So you'll see it a day late in a sense, I guess. So... The one that we're currently watching is day one, which is Swift, and I am following the official prompt list, and I'm not sure how long I'll keep that up in the sense that last year I did follow the prompt list for 10 days, I think, or a little bit more, and then I started getting bored of following a prompt list, and I just drew whatever I wanted to draw. But now I wanted to challenge myself a little bit more and try to follow the prompts. So today is Swift. And the idea here is, well, a ninja, I guess. Yeah, because like when I hear Swift, it's either like a marathon runner or somebody running, which is what I did last year, which was also like the first day. So I didn't want to do a repeat of that. So I went with the ninja instead, since that's what they think, they think when you hear the word Swift. Yes, I am a trashy weeb. <laughs> so I included included this like slightly crescent moon shape uh, lines, cur curved lines to implicate the, s the twirling fast motion and the scarf around his body also suggests that he is twirling. And yes, I know the pose is a little bit broken. Um, I misunderstood my sketch and made it look a little bit weird. <laughs> oh well, I will practice and I hope things will improve by the end of October. Just, we'll see how far I'll go. So I'm using the Kuritake Cambio brush pen and the Faber Castle Pit Artist pens, which are Inji Ink pens, so yay. <laughs> so, on to day two. The theme for today, the or day two, was divided. And I didn't want to go with the usual feel of Divided, where you portray two characters and they're like, you know, in different states or opposing each other. Instead, I wanted to go with being divided with yourself. So, still using a somewhat common way to portray it, I drew like this solid line uh, in between the two sides of her. And I really do like how this turned out. Uh, it was rather interesting, especially when when I started getting to coloring the hair and well, actually, yeah, that's where it would mostly show the most. But I, I kind of like how it turned out, especially with the hair. It's like very luscious and soft, and it looks really nice and shiny. And I feel like I've been getting a lot better enjoying hair and locks and curls lately. And I've for some reason, I've just taken a liking to join you them and putting a lot of detail into them. So for this Inktober, I plan on doing a mix of like black and white with a, with a hint of color type of, of type of drawings. And if I'm feeling motivated and artistic enough, I will also do fully colored drawings. Though I've learned that this uh, Rhodia paper. It's pretty nice and it's smooth and it's nice to draw on, but uh, it's not really meant 
to color or to layer marker color over and over again it tends to rub the paper a bit so yeah it's pretty limited with how many layers you can set on it it takes the ink very well though but the Inja ink if i try to do layers it eventually sort of corrodes it a little bit so it's a little bit limiting with how many strokes i can make or i have to be very intentional with how i color So for day 3, the theme was poison, and these, this is one of the themes where I immediately had an idea of what I wanted to do. So I used the SH Figure Arts Body Chan figurine to sort of pose it out a little so that I could see how the body would be positioned, and I immediately got to work. Now this is one of the more longer pieces since it is fully colored, and even the pose itself was a little bit more complicated than the first two. And I don't like how this turned out. Um, originally, I only wanted to do like black and white and lines, but I felt like it was missing or it didn't convey poison as well without the color, so I did color it in the end. I switched pens and for the past three days, I was using the Unipin 0.5 weight uh, eyeliner. Uh, for this, for day 3, I switched to the Artline Calligraphy Pen with the weight of 1.0 and I kind of like the Artline Pen more than Unipin. With Unipin, I feel like it drags a little or... Um, how do I put this? Like, it... You leave it behind a little bit and it feels super stiff. With the Artline, for some reason, it feels a lot smoother and it's a lot easier for me to make the really... Uh, like these swishes in the hair and differing line weights, it's a lot easier for me with the art line. Or maybe I'm just not skilled enough with fine liners, I am not sure. But yeah, this is one of the more sort of, I, I put in more effort type of works. I even did line weights, yay! So I wanted to go with this like slightly seductive and indulgent looking character and I wanted to convey poison so I used a lot of green and also I wanted to be like seductive and you know like it's not the poison that you know you know is poison and you wouldn't take like this is the type of poison where you're sort of drawn to it and then you're not super aware that it could kill you but it could and it would if it had the chance so that's what I wanted to go with with this piece I am also using the Derwent Ink Pens Water Soluble Ink Pencils that's to color the stuff in. Uh, I don't have any ink, like the liquid ink bottles, colors in, in my collection yet. So I'm using the color Water Soluble Ink Pencils for now for color. I'm also using the uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens because I wasn't really feeling like I wanted to use the colored pencils for all of it and I was also worried that the paper was buckling since it's not meant to take water so I only limited the use of it for the background and then I wanted to go with something more drier or less buckle-inducing materials for it which is kind of sad. I might actually redo this in the future since I really do like the concept and how the entire piece turned out. Just like I might do more tweaks and uh, with the coloring especially and we'll see. Inktober tends to be a good sort of source of inspiration for uh, like redos and ideas and stuff like that. So we're nearing the end of the video. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. Stay tuned for more Inktober videos and much more actually. I do a lot of, I do a lot of stuff. So I'll see you around. Bye.